guys, it's Jesse, and I'm super excited because my mail just came and I got a very special delivery. I just received the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault. I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to save like my first impressions and my first reaction to it for this video. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Okay, so we're gonna open up the package. Everything is ooh, nice and bubble wrapped. Okay, so here is the vault. So one of the initial things I was excited about with these palettes were the size of them. I love my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the original palette, um, but it's really big to travel with. It's kind of a pain in the butt if you are traveling or if you wanna take it somewhere. Uh, but these are all really small. They just have 10 shadows in each of them. What? And they're all arranged by color family. So I just, I think this is such a great idea for like a minimal palette that you can just take one or two and throw in your makeup bag. These will actually like fit in your makeup bag, which is amazing. So unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know um, about each of these. There's Ring the Alarm, Bling Boss, Armed and Gorgeous, and Dark Magic. And when I saw the photos start coming out online, the two that I was instantly excited about were Dark Magic, which is this one. It has really pretty kind of greens and like dark blues and stuff like that, which I feel like are really fun colors that I don't always gravitate towards, but I would like to. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. And the other one I'm really excited and the one I will be playing with today is Armed and Dangerous. And it has all of these like orange and like khaki and brown and golds. And I'm pretty excited about using this one. Let's look at the other two just while we're here. We have Ring the Alarm, uh, which is a lot of like neutrals, kind of pinks, purpley pinks. Okay, and then finally we have Bling Boss, which has a lot of um, like pinky, purpley neutrals. I feel like this is one, if I was traveling, if I was going somewhere, I would definitely throw this in because it has a lot of those like reddish browns that I tend to use a lot. This color, let's see, Berry Treasure right there, I'm pretty excited about. It's like a brown, purpley shimmer shade. Pretty cool. I also think the packaging on these is gorgeous. I love that each one has like a different accent color. Very smart, very smart. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with my eyes today, so in case there's any fallout, which I don't really anticipate, most Morphe shadows don't have a lot of fallout. The only palette that I had an issue with is 39A palette, which I had a multitude of issues with. I felt like it wasn't the same quality as all of the other Morphe palettes that I have. I have a ton of Morphe palettes, and that one, I don't know, there just seems to be something off about it, but I think I'm gonna start today with my eyes anyway to make sure that I'm happy with how things are going before I do my whole face. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I almost said Morphe Soft Ochre Paint Pot, no. I've kind of been trying not to buy a lot of new makeup lately because I feel like I went on a little bit of a spree there for a while and was buying a lot. And so I have a lot of stuff that I really need to use before I buy new stuff. Um, but this I definitely wanted to buy because as I said, I do love the original Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I use that thing constantly. And since these are kind of the leftovers from that palette, I was like, obviously I'm gonna like it. I did kind of go back and forth about whether or not I was just gonna grab like a couple of the palettes and not buy the whole set. Um, but come on, this is me we're talking about. I was obviously gonna buy the whole set. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and set the paint pot. Okay, so like I said, uh, today I'm gonna be trying out the Armed and Gorgeous little palette here. I think first I'm gonna go into the color Access, uh, which is like a bright yellow, and I'm gonna use that in my crease. I feel like there was so much drama about this collection. I feel like there's just so much drama in general going on lately. And I'm just not really into it. And I think that's like part of the reason that I haven't been filming a lot of videos lately is that 
YouTube has just become like all about the drama lately and I realize that it kind of like always has but I don't know I've been noticing it even more lately okay so so far great pigment honestly I went in with just a tiny amount two times and I feel like I got a lot of pigment and a lot of coverage with that shadow and also like not powdery at all nice and packed into the pan next i'm going to pick up the shade smooth criminal it's right under access um, and i'm going to start working that kind of onto the outer corner of my lid and then blending it into the outer corner of my crease this should be pretty interesting because i really desperately need to wash my makeup brushes So it's really gonna be interesting because I don't have a lot of clean makeup brushes right now. Uh, next, I'm gonna go into the shade Agent and I'm gonna take this on a little bit of a flatter brush and I'm just gonna apply this right onto my lid. And then I'm gonna go back into the brush I was using before with the Smooth Criminal and I'm gonna go into the shade Prowl, which is a nice dark chocolatey brown. And I'm just gonna put that in the same place that I put Smooth Criminal and just blend that out. I'm actually gonna bring that out because I'm gonna clean up Hank Cooper. And then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more access along my crease. I'm just making sure everything is kind of blended together. Next, I'm gonna take some more Prowl and I'm gonna put that on a flat definer brush and line my lid my lash line with that. And then at the end, I'm just gonna bring it up. I am going to add a little bit more brown on the outer corner. So this will just fade up into that. Next, I'm gonna take a flat brush, spray it with some Fix Plus, and go into the shade Girl Trip, oh, Guilt Trip, Ugh. can't speak, Guilt Trip. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid actually I think I'm just gonna take my finger and go in with some of that Woo! okay that guilt trip is like the perfect yellowy gold sometimes the Morphe golds are a little funny but I like that one a lot I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of smooth criminal just to blend out that outer corner and I'm just blending that into Guilt Trip. Okay, I'm gonna leave the eyes like this for now. Uh, I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe on a Q-tip and just clean up underneath. As I expected, there was not any fallout, so that's good. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my No Problem Primer. My skin was being so oily there for a while and now I feel like it's back to being dry. At least my forehead. My forehead is like so dry right now. For foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay. It's funny because I was really excited for this foundation to come out and I really haven't used it that much. Next, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think I might finally be running out of this. So I still haven't gotten back into like a filming groove yet. Last week I somehow hurt my back again. And so I've been in like constant pain for like the last week or so. And I haven't even really been able to sit. Yesterday was the first day that I was able to like sit in a chair and get work done. Like I haven't been able to move. It's been pretty bad. But I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm trying, I really am. To set my face, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I picked this up a couple weeks ago um, because my friend Ashley was raving about it. And I'm always looking for a good powder. I mean, let's be real. Um, so I picked this one up and I actually wore it. We went to the Taylor Swift concert last Saturday. And I do feel like my makeup stayed pretty well. And I didn't have any issues with this getting weird around my nose, which is the issue I have 
with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which is why I can't use that anymore, sadly. This is also a funny thing, but I actually really like the size of this compact. It is super skinny, and I just really like that. I feel like it, like, you can hold on to it. You just need to hold on to it. Okay, I quickly filled in my brows off camera. Next, I'm gonna go back in and finish up my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with um, a little bit more prowl just to blend in this outer corner a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and maybe a little bit of agent just to blend that. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more Guilt Trip just to make sure that is popping. I'm really curious if this Guilt Trip would be a good highlight shade. I feel like it would. Like I put it on my hand and it looks like it'd be a really pretty highlight. Maybe if I was a little more tan, it was a little bronzier. But I kind of want to try that out. For underneath my eye, I'm going to go into the shade Top Secret. I've got to be honest, I think this was probably the shade that drew me to this palette the most. I like never use these khaki green colors, but I like really always want to. So I'm gonna pack that into my lower lash line. I honestly feel like this palette should have been named something like safari themed because that's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of going on a safari. An awesome safari. I'm gonna go in with a tiny, tiny bit of agent on this tapered blending brush and just run that underneath my eye because that'll connect top with what we got going on down here. I don't know if it's just my eyes because my eyes are so dark and my lashes are so dark. That green doesn't really show up a lot but it's also just kind of packed into my lower lash line so I don't know. I don't feel like you can really see it. I think I'm gonna pick up a pencil brush and go back in with a little bit more. Okay yeah definitely liking that a lot more. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower waterline with the Teddy eyeliner from MAC. Okay, went ahead and threw on some mascara while I was at it. Next, I'm gonna start bronzing up my face. I'm gonna use my Elizabeth Mott Wet Up Beaches Bronzer. But I gotta find my brush. I'm using my Morphe M530 today. I've really been liking this brush for bronzing lately. I go back and forth between this one and what's the other one I use? The. M523. I go back and forth between these brushes, but lately I've been feeling this one. For blush, I'm going to use MAC Peaches. Okay, and then to highlight, I'm going to use the shade VIP in the Armed and Dangerous. Armed and Gorgeous. Do I keep calling it Armed and Dangerous? Have I been calling it Armed and Dangerous? Uh, I'm going to be using the Morphe Y14. I just bought this along with the Vault. Um, because I saw Kathleen Lights talking about this. I feel like I'm on this constant quest to find the perfect highlighting brush. She uses this one, so I thought I would check it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm gonna take a little bit of Guilt Trip and put that over top too to highlight. Um, I might take a little bit of VIP and just put that under my brow. Get that brow highlighting. Gotta make sure everything is highlighted. To line my lips, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty uh, Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And then over top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade La Solace. I was so excited the second I found out about this um, because La Solace is a street in Fort Lauderdale and I am from Fort Lauderdale. So I was just so excited to see Ofra rep in the 954. So I got this immediately when it went on sale. I was so, I'm so excited. I love Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. I think this will look really good with my safari eye thing I have going on. It's kind of like a darker nude, like a kind of a terracotta-y nude, I would say, maybe. We'll try it, I haven't even tried it yet. Oh, pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish off with a spritz of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, and here's the finished look. 
So I have to say, even with all the controversy swirling about the vault and the shadows and this whole situation, um, I think that these are right up to standard with the rest of the Morphe shadows. Uh, these went on gorgeous. They blended out amazingly. I just think it looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.